Hey there, everybody. This is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we were here in 12,000 BC, helping out the Earthbound ones, I guess. Going into the beastness. The lair of the beast! Anyway, I changed up my party. I switched out, uh, Luca for, um, Ayla, because Ayla knows charm, and there's a lot of items that I need to get by charming enemies in this area. Like these guys, for instance. They give you rainbow helms. Which are very, 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 very nice. They cut lightning damage by half, I think. So if you're into that sort of thing, I mean, that's that's what you do, see? Uh, it doesn't work all the time. Uh, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but yeah. Also, uh, while I was off screen, I learned some, uh... I learned the dual technique Spire, which I've never used before. And, uh... Uh, Frog learned a technique too, but I tend to forget things. And apparently it doesn't matter because he's just whooping ass anyway. Yeah, so I don't know if I mentioned in the last episode, but these guys is... These guys is... These guys is... Uh, they have their uh, attack go up whenever you hit them with a basic attack. Not counting counters. Uh, so, you might want to watch out for that. I think the highest I've ever seen it go up to is like 105 on Chrono or whatever. Because they'll hit Chrono usually all the time because he's in the front of the party. I don't know how that works or how the enemies detect or go after who, but yeah. That's how it was for me. Alright, so let's heal up real quick. Real quick, lock. And that should be good enough. Oh, great, more of them. Because we're in the belly of the beast! I think that's what the name of this episode's gonna be. <laughs> As you can see, I put tons of thought into my episodes. Falcon Hit is actually a really good tech here. So you can do some of this Shazamsies. Shazamsies, yeah. I don't know what that word means, but we'll find some meaning in this episode. <laughs> For Shazamsies. <laughs> I play my friend Chris, he uh, ends everything he says just to make it sound very, very feminine. He ends everything in ease. Like, I'm gonna go drink some iced teasies. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a competition to see who can outgay who, but. Eh, who knows. Alright, so this is boss time. You can't pass through here! Yeah! And first things first, you're gonna wanna go and try to steal off of the blue beast and the uh Oh, I was like, did he just kill Chrono? <laughs> Let me heal up here. And he'll throw rocks, that just like enrages him. Luckily we've got Frog with the heals. <laughs> Not the heelsies. Did I steal anything off of him, or did I just kind of, like, zone out there? Ow. There we go. We get the mermaid cap, which is pretty good. And there's only one other item that I want to steal. You jerk. I hope Chrono wakes up soon. I like how he gets up just for a second and he's like, ah, nah, fuck this match. <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> wow, I'm getting really lucky on the charms here. Let me get the speed tab. Uh, I think... Yeah, I might as well steal from the red one, too, because it gives you an elixir. But first things first... Kind of struggling over that word if you didn't. <laughs> first things first. I can't handle repetition apparently. Uh, obviously, the blue one is weak to electricity because it's blue. Color coded enemies for the win. And the red one is weak to fire, which we don't have, unfortunately. I've drained almost all of my MP using charm. It'll drain it. It'll do it. I'm supercharged! 
That's what I think every time I see that attack. I think these have 2300 each. HP wise, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making up numbers. Ah, uh, forget it. It's like 2300 or something. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just play the game. Damn. Yeah, this is actually one of the harder boss fights in the game. If I'm not mistooken. <laughs> and cro or frog with the save, because I would have died. Don't throw rocks. Oh, I swear to God. Oh. You dirty rat, you. Alright, we'll see since he can't do anything anyway. I'll try to char- Oh, I got it too. Get the elixir. A winner is us. Yeah, this is a cool boss fight, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of like out of left field. You're kind of just like, yeah, I want to get to the next area. And they're like, nope. I don't think so. You're oh, wait. Wait, now that Chrono's awake. You can heal. Unless you fall asleep, then you can do that. Or I guess not, because Frog's awesome. I just don't get how you fall asleep in the middle of battle. Now we can use Volt Bite. It's probably why it's not dead yet. It's because he keeps healing them. But this should finish it off. Or not. Huh. It appears that they have a fair bit more HP than I gave them credit. It might be 3600. They're lasting this long. As long as you keep your characters healed, though, you shouldn't have really any problem. Unless they kill Frog, and then you're screwed. Also, Frog and Ayla have a joint tech, or dual tech, that I didn't know about at all. Damn, are you serious? How much HP does this thing have? You know what, I'm gonna try something. Jerk. Let's try Spire on that guy, and then she'll just kiss. She'll just blow kisses. This is about the same damage, and it's finally dead. Alright, now we can concentrate on this other guy. Uh, for some reason, I don't think you want to concentrate on him because you can't really do any damage to him. So let's have her use, uh... Attacks. Oh, yeah, and this one's weak to water, I think. Damn! Stop kicking me! Let's try another sword stream. I didn't realize it would be so effective, I would have taken out the red guy first. I like how she just like roll, like she just Metroid rolls off the screen. Whenever she's done attacking, she's like, I'm outie. And that was the end of Ayla. You can use Kiss on yourself. Huh. This should be the last one. This should only take three. And now we can just beat up on the mud imp. Or not. Hmm. 
Let's try this differently, shall we? That works. Yeah, I guess he's just gonna keep healing himself. So work with the magic. Man, thought that uh, Slash or Chrono got really slow. If he's slower than both Frog and Ayla, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna use my Rolo Kick. I love that description still. It's like Rolo kick an enemy. What does that even mean? Let me get some tech points, and we got all sorts of bonuses for that fight. That lasted forever and a day. I didn't think it would last that long. Let's uh let's heal up. Seize. Let's see now. Let's give Frog, the mermaid cap. I don't know if Frog actually takes less damage from... From water. I don't, I don't know how that works. Kind of lost my train of thought there. If you want to go back, you can go back and heal. Also, fight these guys. Fight these guys all the time. Every time. Like, oh yeah, lock all. That's a big deal. It's not. Kill these guys. These are the guys you want to train on all the time. I don't remember how much HP they have. A thousand experience points. And a hundred tech points. A thousand experience points. And then you go down. And you see that little animation? And then you go back up. Because you get, you get these experience points. You kill these things over and over again until you're, like, max level. Because it's ridiculous how much that is. And you get to fight these guys. They're, they're just jerk people. It looks like those imps are wearing sunglasses, though. Like some... Rolo kicking enemies in the face. Hey <laughs> I want to Rolo kick enemies. Yeah, but if you ever see those rock guys, those uh, rubbles, you kill the rubbles because they give you so much experience, so much tech points. You'll probably master all of your skills out. It is the most helpful thing ever. And really the only reason they do that is because this next boss is hard. It's the hardest boss in the game, hands down without a doubt. Like, I'm, like, literally trying to think of a harder boss, but I can't. Tis the hardest boss. And yes, I don't say the word tis that often, so you know. You know how grave the situation is. Or you don't know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you know. I just work here. Yeah, I don't get Crimson Rain. It's a weird debuff. It's kind of like the bleed from... Or I don't even know what it does, honestly. I thought it was like bleed from... Final Fantasy or whatever it's called. Where your health just slowly goes down over time. Yeah, this area is great for training, especially when you got rock guys to fight. I don't care if their name's Rubble. They're always gonna be rock guys in my heart. That should have been their name. Oh no, it's one of these ones. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, sometimes the battles just take a little longer because you can't hit them. It's really weird. First time we took care of them, like, no problem. Once you get a critical hit, I think you hit anyway, so... Yeah, so we're just breezing through these new techs. We're about to learn Confused. 
Weirdest named skill in the game. I don't know why it's not just called like Tetra Slash or something. Because really all you do is hit him four times. Uh, we want to learn Water too, which we're about to learn. And Tailspin. Oh, we oh. Oh, we oh. <laughs> I had to make at least one reference. Load helm any better? No, it is not. So if you got the if you got the uh, the rainbow helm, more power to you. And she need, she just needs a better helmet, so I'll just give that to her. I doubt I'll be using Marl at all throughout the rest of the game. I might. Because there's another dungeon that's coming up that's a pain in the ass. I like how my favorite part of the game easily becomes my least favorite part of the game. Like, halfway through. Alright, but that's all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Join me back next time when we continue to climb the... The Mountain of Woe! Anyway, it's been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.